Hello everyone, I'm back and uh, today I'm going to share with you something very, very interesting, especially for mathematics teachers. We have to use uh, lots of equations and uh, solve questions which involve symbols, fractions, decimals, roots, sign, things like that. And uh, when we have to create uh, Google quiz or uh, we have to create an assessment, then uh, it's really a big hassle to type in the math expression. So today I'm going to share with you an interesting Chrome extension, which is called Equatio. So how you are going to use that uh, application? So first thing is you search Equatio Chrome extension. Then uh, Chrome Web Store will appear. Now, at present, you can see I have already added this in my Chrome tab. So once it is added, then on the top, you can see this equatio icon. So it looks like this. Fine. So now half of the job is done. That equatio is installed. Now I am coming back to a uh, Google quiz, how we can use uh, Equatio in the Google quiz. So let me take you to a uh, Google form. I'm not going into details of writing the title and everything. I'm focusing on how to type in the math expression. For example, I have to type here question number one. And uh, you see here on the right side, there is this blue button. And when you click on this, it is saying insert math. So click on this button. And observe that at the bottom of the screen, you see this equatio tab. It is quite potential. It has a lot of potential because it has an equation editor. It has latex editor. It has graph editor. You can, uh, you know, do handwriting thing and get the expressions done. And then there is a speech input box. This is equatio for mobile, then math space, and then screenshot reader. So today I'm going to demonstrate that uh, how handwriting recognition tool helps us a lot. So click on this. And this is the space where I can uh, write down the expression. For example, my first question is solve 2x plus 3 equal to 5. Four. See on the right side, the expression is coming automatically. I've taken a simple, simple one. So click on insert math. It will automatically place the question here. And in the options, you can simply use the insert math button and type in the answers also. Let, let me take you to another question and we'll do some other experiment. So here I am clicking on insert math and uh, now I don't want this. So I am writing here, see, some uh, expression like 3x square plus 5x minus 3 equal to 0. See, the expression has come so fast. Click on insert math and you will find this 
expression in the question box. Now, how this will appear to the students? Let, let me go and view this. See, we can give the options in the bottom. And uh, children can solve this. I'm coming back to the question form now. Let me try something else now. Say, for example, I have to type in or write in here some fraction. One of my colleague was asking about this in the morning. So let me write it here. One upon 2 plus 3 upon 7. See how quickly it is recognizing the handwriting and insert math. And the question will come here and uh, you can uh, write in the choices here the same way. I'm doing it here. Fine. So it is very simple to use equatio for typing the maths expression in the question as well as in the multiple choice options also. One thing very interesting is when the children are attempting the maths, you know, sheets, uh, assess assignments, and uh, they have installed in the Equatio app. They can also, in the answers, type in their expressions also. Isn't it interesting? So thank you so much. I hope you will be using this in your uh, online teaching learning. Bye-bye.